Welcome to part two of the dream roses in the dream garden. Um, this first rose was one that I was not growing. I saw it somewhere and thought it was really pretty. I like the clustered pink flowers. Um, I don't know the name of it, but it's a dream garden. So I would stick it if I could get it in there. The next one is a rose that I saw in a cemetery in Oregon. Um, I like the softer orange color to it. Um, I'm not a huge bright orange person, but the softer orange I like, um, which is why I would add it. This next rose is also another rose from the cemetery. Um, I like the um, color of the bud that was opening. It also forms hips, it looks like. Um, and I, since it is in the cemetery, it wasn't well maintained, so it is a survivor. So that's another reason that I would like this in a dream garden. The next rose that I saw while walking down the street, um, I don't know if you can call red a soft color, but it, it was a softer red. It's not a bright, shining, look at me red. Um, I consider a look at me red. It would be like a, a screaming neon red, which, I mean, the name says screaming, so... But this one is not Screaming Red. Um, so I, I liked it. It was ticking through a fence. It was probably eight feet tall. Um, but I thought it was a nice rose. So if I could get it and put it in Dream Garden, I would. The next rose is another rose from the cemetery. Um, someone once suggested it might be known as the Rose of Many Names. Uh, I thought it was nice. This particular cemetery wasn't well maintained plant wise, so it was a survivor. Um, nice rose that if I could get, I'd put it in a dream garden. This rose was also one from a cemetery, um, same cemetery as the last one. A nice pink rose. I liked it. It was in the fall, it was blooming. Um, again, not maintained, so it's a survivor. It will do on its own, um, which I think is a one of the benefits of roses the, that are in cemeteries are they survive on their own for who knows how long if they're not maintained. Um, so one I would definitely put in my dream garden. The next rose from the dream garden would be Marie Van Hute, which I may be mispronouncing. It's a tea rose. Um, I have grown it before. I like the fact that it changed from a lighter color to a darker color as you'll see in these pictures. Um, I mean, I like tea roses, so that is one reason I would have it in the dream garden. This next rose is also from a cemetery. I like the cheerful red color of it. Um, again, not a look at me shouting rose, um, but it was nice cheery red. This next rose is one another one that I found in a, a cemetery. Um, I like the red, the, the, that's red. It's kind of a little white center in it, um, which is one of the reasons why I like it. If I could find it somewhere, I would definitely put it in Dream Garden. Another rose I found in the cemetery. I like the uh, fullness of the flower, the uh, bulb shape type thing uh, of the bloom. Uh, again, it's not one I know the name of, but it's one that if I could get, I would definitely grow. The next rose is Rosette de Lizzie. I saw it at the Sacramento City Cemetery uh, Open Garden. Back in 2017, um, it's always intrigued me the pictures and stuff like that. So, and I like tea roses, so I would put it in a dream garden if I could. The next rose is um, Monster Atelier. I grew it in Oregon and I grew it in Missouri. Um, this these this picture is from um, the Sacramento City C Cemetery. I. Uh, I really like it. It's a nice tea rose, um, one that I uh, would definitely like to have in all my gardens if I ever do move again or have a dream garden. The next rose is another rose that I found in a cemetery. Um, the cemetery was mowed, but it, like the rose wasn't kept or anything like that. Um, so it was a pretty nice survivor. Um, I'm not, one of the reasons why I like this rose is was it was a little different colored, depending on the uh, time of bloom. 
and how old the bloom was. Um, so it was a nice rose, one that I would like to grow if I could. Another a cemetery rose. Um, this one's a moss. It's a little darker than a light pink. Um, I like mosses roses. I like the scent. I like the mossiness to them. Um, so that's one couple of reasons why I would include it in my dream garden. The next rose is La Belle Sultane. Um, I like once blooming Gallica roses. I like the fact that it's single. Um, it is somewhat historical as well. Uh, I don't mind the fact that it suckers. Uh, so it would definitely be one that I would uh, like for multiple reasons, for including those that I've already said. The next rose is a rose from the City Garden in Oregon. Um, I feel like it might be a bourbon, but it's not Varagata de Bologna. Um, I like this rose because it is, uh, striped. Um, stripes are interesting. So this rose is another cemetery rose. I don't know the name of it. I like the fullness, openness of the flowers, but the, the quarter look as well, or the, the floral, I don't maybe it's not quartered, but I like the old garden look to it. Um, this cemetery is more mo. They leave their roses alone, but um, it's their survive self surviving roses. Um, but worth if I could get it, it would be worth it. This next rose again from cemetery. Um, I like the difference between the bud and the open bloom. Um, it is a thorny rose bush though, so I would definitely stick it in the back of a bed um in the dream garden but i think it would be worth growing um so i've got several more roses i would add to the dream garden um this video, this video is getting um a little lengthy as well so it, there's going to be more parts to come so please stay tuned and i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for your time